My name is Yu Lei from Harbin Institute of Technology in China. My top topic is about ground clutter separation method for three coordinate air search reader based on adaptive processing in beam domain. This PPT has five parts. Firstly, I will introduce the background. Secondly, the adaptive processing theory is proposed as the foundation of our algorithms. Then two clutter separation algorithms are introduced, including a method based on samples in the same scan and another method based on samples in different scans. The latter is also deemed as a cognitive method. After that, the real data experiments and processing results are proposed by the traditional method and proposed method in this paper for comparisons, which verifies the effectiveness of our methods in clutter separation. The conclusions are also obtained at the last. Part 1. Introduction As the backbone reader in modern air defense system, three coordinate reader can detect and track multiple targets in searching airspace and measure the range, azimuth, and the altitude of targets at the same time. The ground clutter masks the low altitude aircraft in the received signal of three coordinate reader. Therefore, by suppressing the clutter, the target detection capability of three coordinate reader can be greatly improved. Compared with the ground clutter, the target velocity is generally much large, larger. Their Doppler difference can be used for clutter separation. Moving target indication and moving target detection are commonly used for ground clutter separation. The MTI technology is equivalent to using a high-pass filter by weighting and summing data of successive pulses. The ground clutter is mitigated. Thus, the signal to clutter radio and the probability of target detection can be improved. In the MTD technology, by covering the whole repetition frequency range through a set of bandpass filters, the target energy can be accumulated where the clutter is suppressed. In the three coordinate reader, the MTI and MTD technologies are generally used for clutter separations, but special clutter Separation algorithms are rarely used. In this paper, we propose a novel clutter separation method in the special domain. Special adaptive processing is a particle signal processing technology which has wide applications in interference separation, clutter separation, and other fields. In this proposed method, the special convergence metrics of the clutter are first estimated, then by using the minimum variance distortion response algorithm, the optimal weighting vector is obtained since the array stealing vector is available in the beam domain data. The target stealing vector in the beam domain is used to replace the convergence array stealing vector. At last, by weighting the received signal in the beam domain using the obtained optimal weighting vector, vector the signal to clutter post noise radio of the received signal can be maximized. Thus, the clutter is suppressed effectively. Part 2. Adaptive Processing Theory Firstly, the adaptive processing in a real element domain is introduced. The received signal is filtered by a special weighted vector W, which is calculated by the clutter convergence matrix and the target seeding vector. The clutter convergence matrix is estimated from the clutter samples. The maximum likelihood estimation under the independent identically distribution Gaussian samples is written as this equation. Where xi is the clutter sample, i is the index of range cell, uh, tau is the set of samples index, k tau is the number of samples. The samples are selected in the range domain. The selected samples should have similar spatial distributions. In order to prevent the target from being eliminated, the clutter samples are selected by setting protection cells on the target. Secondly, adaptive processing in beam domain is introduced. The adaptive processing can also be 
processed in beam domain four dimensional reduction. The every element domain signal is transformed to the beam domain by a lander transformation, such as this equation. Where J is the beam domain signal and T is the transforming matrix, matrix used for conventional beam forming, as it are the n beam forming vectors of interest, and uh, n is generally used for dimension reduction. Then the filter output is written as this equation. Uh, the new tagged steering vector in beam domain is also needed to be transformed uh, by substituting the above expressions, the cluster covariance matrix tagged ceiling vector and the spatial weighted vector in beam domain can be obtained, and then the beam domain signal can be filtered in lander spatial domain. Part 3. Cluster separation algorithm Firstly, adaptive processing in the same scan is introduced. When the received data are beam domain data and the lack of array geometry information, the transform matrix T is unknown. The clutter separation can still be carried out directly in the beam domain data. In this case, the estimation of the clutter covariance matrix and the steering vector in the beam domain are necessary. In this paper, the data of real target in the beam domain under the background of noise is considered as the sitting vector in the beam domain. In a pause, we first find the range cell where the maximum value of the target is located in the range beam domain. Then the target of the beam domain of this range cell is extracted to form a vector. The target sitting vector in the beam domain is obtained by normalizing the maximum value of the vector, as shown in the left figure. The beam domain vector corresponding to the 1000 and the 400 and the 23rd range cell is selected as the special target steering vector. In order to suppress clutter, it is necessary to obtain the statistical characteristics of clutter special distribution. A certain amount of clutter samples with the same or similar special distribution are selected for covariance matrix estimation. In addition to the homogeneity of samples, it is also required that the samples should not contain the target signal component. The schematic diagram of clutter sample selection in the range domain is shown in the red figure. Several protection cells are set near the cell and test, and then enough cells are selected on both sides of the protection cells as clutter samples. Then the clutter covariance matrix in the beam domain can be calculated by using the selected samples. Next, the clutter covariance matrix and target steering vector are used to calculate the weighting vector of beam domain, and the beam domain signal can be filtered in lander spatial domain. The flow chart of the proposed clutter separation method in the one scan is shown in this figure. Generally speaking, modern reader systems mainly use the received data for processing well, ignoring external targets and environment information. Therefore, the detection performance improvement faces a major bottleneck in the complex geographical and electromagnetic environment. To solve this problem, the concept of a cognitive reader has been proposed in recent years. Cognitive reader has the ability of online perception and memory of environment and target information. Combined with the prior knowledge, it can optimize the transmitting and receiving processing mode in real time by achieving, by achieving the optimal match with the target and the environment, target detection performance can be improved. In the application of three coordinate reader, we assume that the reader's location is stationary and the received clutter is mainly ground clutter. The clutter information can be recorded and learned by multiple scans after the reader has been turned on. Such information can then be used to assist in clutter separation in the subsequent, subsequent target de detection. In the process of target detection, the information in clutter database can be updated to adapt adaptive to the slow-changing environment. 
especially for the beam domain adaptive fitting. We can use the multi-scan data of the same rent cell and the test as samples to estimate the cluster quantum matrix. When the adaptive fitting performance of different rent cells is degraded due to the change of terrain, we can choose the historical data as samples for cluster suppression. The selection of cluster samples is shown in the figure. According to the position of the cell and the test data of the cell and the test and its uh, adjacent range cell in the prior scans can select it as the cluster samples. The target staging vector is the same as before and the overall processing flow is shown in this figure. Part 4 Experiments and Results In this section, the Real data are used to illustrate the performance of the proposed methods. The key parameters are as follows. The reader transmitted signal is RFM pulse signal, which is scanned uh, mecha mechanically at uh, 360 degrees in azimuth and electrically in elevation domain, and uh, 16 beams are formed at 0 to 25 degrees. After beam forming, the data format is beam, runs, pulse, and then the beam domain adaptive processing is carried out by the proposed method, starting with the beam domain signal. Clutter samples are selected in the run domain of the same scan for convergence estimation. According to the beam domain information of the real data in the noise background, the string vector is referenced, and then the adaptive fitting processing in the beam domain is completed. The results before and after clutter suppressing are shown in this figure. It can be seen that the adaptive processing in beam domain by sampling in the same in the range domain of the same scan can effectively suppress the clutter and the SNR improvement reaches uh, 25.6 dB. The covariance matrix estimation is completed by range domain sampling based on cognitive uh, con cognition, and the results before and after clutter separation are shown in this figure. It can be seen from this figure that the adaptive processing in beam domain based on cognition has a limited separation degree to clutter, and the improvement factor reaches 6.96 dB. The clutter separation performance is obviously not as good as the performer. Since the reader system may have certain errors when scanning in different directions, the azimuth of two uh, adjacent scan is not completely aligned. This will increase this will increase the different of data in different scans. It, in the Ideal case of the system, the multiple measurement results of different statistical clutter in the same resolution cell should have good independent and identically distributed sample properties. In such ideal case, the separation results should be much better. According to the simulated ideal cognitive reader, the processing result is shown in this figure. It can be seen from this figure that the clutter separation performance of adaptive processing in beam domain based on ideal cognitive reader near tucked range cell is better than that of sampling method in the range domain of the same scan. The separation performance of other range cells in the, is the same, and the calculated improvement factor is 27.08 dB. Part 5 Conclusions In this paper, a special uh, clutter separation method based on adaptive processing is proposed for the three coordinate reader system. The MVDR algorithm framework is adopted to clutter separation in beam domain. When estimating the Covariance matrix in addition to the section of samples uh, in the range domain. We also proposed a method of selecting samples in different scans based on cognition. In the case that the received data is beam domain data, we propose, propose to use the beam domain response of the obvious target as the target string vector. 
The performance of the methods on cloud separation are verified by using the real data and the improvement factors are calculated. In addition, this method can be uh, cascaded with the traditional slow time domain cloud separation algorithms to further improve the performance. Thank you.